you, you, and you must be wondering what does this 18 year old with an earring, a nice beard, and beautiful teeth, wink wink, know about heartbreak. Yes, heartbreak. Imagine, imagine being hungry, super hungry, eagerly waiting for that juicy, saucy, hot, but not too hot, pizza at a pizzeria. Actively looking around where the waiter is with, oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes. The moment you've been waiting for, but hey, 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 where are you going? And he places that pizza on the table next to yours. Isn't that painful? Doesn't it pierce through the body? Doesn't it almost feel like a heartbreak? My name is Seifan and this is my antidote to a heartbreak. Heartbreaks are usually associated with anxiety, misery, and depression. But have you ever considered a heartbreak to be a powerful opportunity to redefine yourself, to help build who you are? There are many forms of heartbreaks that one can encounter in life. From eagerly waiting for that pizza, to that seven-year friendship, to the relationship you thought was the one. All of these produce pain. Pain that cannot be physically seen, no, but emotionally felt. Now, let me ask you a question. Which one do you think is more painful? A second degree burn? or a heartbreak. In reality, both of them release the same amount of endorphin, a hormone produced by the body to relieve stress and pain. As human beings, in some point of our lives, in one way or the other, all of us have gone through a heartbreak. Whether in year six or whether in year 10, whether a teenager or whether an adult, some of us are affected more than others. Some of us even develop mental distress, such as anger or depression. Saul Bellow, a Nobel Prize winner for literature, once said, more die of heartbreak than anything else, yet, there are no mass movements against it or demonstrations in the streets. Being heartbroken is more fatal than imagined. Broken heart syndrome, which is also called stress-induced cardiomyopathy, is caused by a stressful emotional event. Globally, 1.5 million people, yes, 1.5 million people, aged between 18 to 84, after a breakup, divorce, or death of the spouse, have an increased risk of a heart attack by 20 to 35%. Isn't that so much? When a heartbreak happens, it's like being in a swimming pool, gliding, drifting, swimming through the blue water. But the water isn't just water. It's a mixture of emotions. That's what happens when your heart is broken. It feels like you're lost in between these thousands of emotions. Left or right, all you can feel and see is emotional stress. Imagine that glass. 
with crystal clear water is your aura. Bright, just like the beauty of paradise. Everything is perfect. You're living your life. Your aura is as clear as these spotlights. Suddenly, once you go through a heartbreak, the negative energy, it captures you. Just like this ink, so powerful, in milliseconds it destroys your inner peace and purity. Ladies and gentlemen, and in a glimpse, you lose yourself. Everything becomes dark. Hey, hey, stay fun! You're so weak. Stefan, Stefan, oh my God, you're so ugly. Stefan, Stefan, are you gonna let him do you like this? Stefan this, Stefan that. Most of us in this room have found ourselves being tangled in this confusing emotional reaction caused by a heartbreak. It feels like your soul is torn. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what is taking over you. You don't know if this is anger or confusion or maybe relief. It's hard to stay in control. Confusing thoughts of false happiness take over you because you try to reassure yourself that you are better off without them. But let me ask you a question. Are you really happy inside? All you want is to be loved. But even the thought of being in a relationship disgusts you. Every day feels okay until you see something that reminds you of them or that situation. Every time you try to avoid it, it comes back to dig deeper deeper into your chest, making that hole bigger. You just want to talk to them. You really do. But you don't want to talk to them because you hate them. Hate them for leaving you and making a mess out of you. And all of this is just so confusing. But hey, hey, it's okay. This is what happens when your heart is broken. This is the negative energy capturing you, just like this ink, taking your soul completely. However, don't worry, don't worry. I have found an antidote to it. The only cure to brighten up this dark soul is through this heartbreak pill. Not found in any drugstore, no, 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 don't be mistaken. Instead, found in each one of you sitting right here. Only you and only you can find your heartbreak pill, no one else can. Finding this heartbreak pill, in my view, is an art. I found my heartbreak pill through trying new different things. I explored. I painted, I meditated, I worked out. But the minute I started lifting weights, I knew this was it. This was my heartbreak pill, the antidote to my broken heart. <clears throat> Working out continually, going on rigorous strength training programs, disciplining my mind and body was the key. Yes, disciplining my mind and body was the key. Through working out, I transformed myself physically and mentally. Starting off with 20 kgs, moving up to 100 kgs. That's more than my weight. But let me tell you one thing. It wasn't easy. I had injuries. So many. I went through so much pain, but pain replaces pain. My regularity of working out gave me momentum, and I kept on pushing and pushing and pushing myself. 
I used this experience to find myself and transform myself. This beard that you're seeing here did not just come easily, no, no. I used the negative energy and channeled it into a positive energy. If you, or you, or you want to find your heartbreak pill, the main ingredient to it is self-love and exploration. I, the 18-year-old, standing in front of you with an earring, beautiful teeth, nice beard, is standing right in front of you because I explored. You also need to explore. Try new different things. Paint, meditate, cook, run, write, swim. There's so many things out there. Try them. Maybe you will fall in love with them. Maybe you will find something about yourself that you never knew. Maybe you will find your hidden talent and you'll become a swimmer. The only key to this broken heart was the antidote I found. At the end, only you, only you, and only you can find that antidote to your heartbreak. Remember, at the end, it's not the end of the world, no. There's so much more out there. This is just a beginning to a new you. Thank you.